Good morning. It's 7.30 and uh, this is Brother Ron here with Morning Devotion. Uh, hope you're having a blessed uh, week and a blessed morning. How many are loving the cooler temperature? I got up this morning. I had a meeting early this morning and uh, that's why uh, you're seeing me. I'm in my truck. I just finished up with my meeting and uh, thought I'd, well, I won't go set up. I'll just shoot this from inside my truck. But uh, when I got up this morning, it was 68 degrees, so it was nice and cool. I'm loving the, the weather, uh, being able to enjoy it. This is why we live in Arizona, right? Well, I've got my Bible. I've got it right here. I don't have my cat with me, and I don't have a cup of coffee. I already drank that. Uh, but I wanted to share with you a passage of Scripture. Uh, Pastor Maria yesterday was talking about listening. And uh, it made me think about another scripture that talks about listening. But I have a question for you. Uh, are you a patient person? Do you lose your cool uh, easily? You know, do you get upset, get angry? Well, I want to give you a prescription that might help you with that. In fact, this passage of scripture helped me in the workplace because there was an individual that used to rub me the wrong way and uh, get under my skin. And I've shared this with the men in our men's discipleship. And so as a Christian, I wanted to respond in a way, because he knew I was a Christian, that reflected that, that I was a Christian. So this verse the Lord gave me, and I would write it down, and I would repeat it, and uh, I would memorize it. And it just became a part of everything, you know, in my inner being so that when I would find myself in situations where there may be conflict, this scripture would come to mind by default. And it's found in James chapter one, verse 19. And uh, some of you may know this, but uh, the book of James is a lot of practical instruction for our everyday life. So I would encourage you to read the whole book. But it says this, understand this, my dear brothers and sisters, you must all be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to anger. Human anger does not produce the righteousness God desires. Ain't that the truth? So it tells us, be quick to listen and slow to speak. Human nature and our culture is reversed. We are quick to speak, slow to listen. Uh, in fact, in, a, in the moment of conflict, we listen long enough for the pauses so that we can uh, present our case, defend ourselves, instead of just listening to listen. And I think as followers of Christ, if we would put to practice this truth of being quick to listen, I'm going to listen to you. I'm going to allow you to get whatever you have to say out. And then it's going to give me time as while you're speaking to pray so that God would give me the wisdom to respond in a godly way. And guess what? It will avoid anger. It will avoid that conflict. It will, um, it will diffuse the situation. And that's what we need to do as followers of Jesus Christ. We need to be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to anger. Because what does it say? Human anger doesn't produce the righteousness that God desires. And that's what we want to do as followers of Jesus Christ. Produce the righteousness that God desires honoring the Lord, being that light in the darkness. Amen. So that's my uh, scripture for this morning, my encouragement for you. Let's pray. Father, we just thank you and we praise you this morning for your word that reminds us in how to do life. Lord, I pray that we would apply this scripture that today as there are those that are getting ready to go to, into the workplace and maybe there's individuals there that uh, seem to want to push their button or driving on the freeways and they get cut off or uh, maybe there's a neighbor that just 
tries everything to, to, to stir up trouble. Help us, Lord, to apply this, to be quick to listen, slow to speak, which produces, which means we are slow to anger, that we may produce the righteousness that you desire, the righteousness that you call us to live and the standard that you call us to live to, which is Christ and his word. So I pray for my brothers and sisters that you would bless them today. Be with them. Provide for them. I pray this in Jesus' name. And everyone says, Amen. Well, let's see who's on. Good morning, Pastor Maria. Good to see you. Sister Terry, good morning. Good morning, Ivy. Good morning, Benjamin. Good morning, Sister Karen. Sister D, good morning. Brother Al, good morning. Ramona, good morning. Brother Ed, good morning. Sister Eva, good morning. Beth, good morning. I believe that is Sister Tammy, good to see you on. Mary and Joe, good to see you on. Rose, good morning. Today is Belize Independence Day. Happy Independence Day, Belize. Sister Jan, good to see you on. Say hello to Brother uh, 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 Dennis. Brother Alfredo, good to see you on. Sister Susan, good to see you on. Laura Lynn, good morning. Um, oh, there's my pa, Brother Danny. Danny V, uh, he's my father-in-law. Sister Janice, good to see you on. Good morning. Well, it's good to see you on, everybody. I think that's everyone. If I missed you, I apologize. Uh, have a blessed day in Jesus. Apply this scripture to your life and uh, be blessed today. Enjoy the cool temperature. God bless you. Bye.